Hey, how's it going, Rev Tune? This is Maza. And today I'm going to be fitting a high cast lock bar delete to do the old 33 behind us. You, may, you guys might be wondering why I'm wearing the old uh, Mexican sombrero. That's because Maza's getting ready for summer nuts. That's right, guys. Four weeks till summer nuts. Getting pumped, getting ready, getting the sombreros ready. Yeah, man, get your mullet ready. Yeah. So I hope you guys are getting pumped, getting your cars ready. But um, today, yeah, let Uncle, let Uncle Muzza um, show you how to do a high cast delete, which is the rear steering on one of these 33s. Um, so come along and I'll show you. All right, first of all, guys, safety first. Jacked it up, put some stands on the back. Got some wheel chocks there so she don't roll away. Now yeah, I still got my tools left over from last time working on the car, but you're gonna need some shifters, a hammer, and then underneath the car. So this is the high cast um, lock bar that's gonna replace my rear steering rack. Underneath the car here, and this ugly thing here, this is the rear high cast. So um, what this does is the computer can also control it too is it, the wheels can turn slightly. Coming on R33s is a high cast, usually plays up, the warning light stays on the dash. And I find with the factory computer and that, um, also it can slightly move, throw your toe out a bit. So if you like drifting or doing skids, um, yeah, I usually delete it. So now we need to remove this and then we're gonna replace it with the high cast delete bar. So basically, once you delete it, um, you put the tie rods on here and it's just a manual adjustment once. So you set your toe and then that's it. It's no more computer controlled. All right, so you take the harness off the rear steering rack. You pull the boots back. Okay guys, so this is the rear high cast. It's the rear steering rack. And this is the high cast delete lock bar. So basically it replaces this um, with just a solid piece of steel. Okay, so the high cast bar's in. So I normally put Loctite on the thread here, and then I tighten it um, just to stop this from coming loose, the tie rod end. And you gotta put the boots back on. With the harness for the high cast, I usually just tuck it up there and just cable tie it out of the way. Um, but that's it, that's pretty much high cast lock bar fitted. You just got to adjust the tie rod ends for your toe. Um, I just adjust it by eye for now, and then I'll put on the wheel liner and then get the, the specs all smick. And that's how you fit a high cast delete lock bar. And then after this, I'm gonna have the light on the dash and I'll show you how to disconnect the light in the dash. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, when you disconnect the rear high cast, you're gonna get this warning on. So the high cast warning light. So basically, you gotta pull the cluster out and disconnect the globe because we don't have high cast anymore. Um, and you can't have a warning light on or it's a knockback for Rego. So you disconnect the globe so the high cast warning doesn't stay on. So yeah, once you undo the cluster, you can pull it forward. And then on the back, if you guys can see, see you got the globes. So you just twist and pull the globe out for the high cast. Like so, that's the globe for the high cast. Once you put it back in and turn the ignition on, no more high cast warning. Done. I've got a bit of glass cleaner and just gave it a clean up. And look at that, man. Come up mint now. Like new, so hard to see before. It was all cloudy and dirty. And um, I didn't even clean the inside, just the outside. But with all the trims off, you can get in there nice. And look at that. Looks schmicko now.